Hello friends, I am from Physics Faculty of KLS Academy. Today we are going to learn about human eye and the colorful world. I hope you will all enjoy learning today's lesson. So start with our class today. In previous lesson, we learned about refraction of light through a prism. Now let's learn about dispersion of white light by a glass prism. Prism is a transparent optical element which refracts light. Sir Isaac Newton was the first one to carry out a systematic study of refraction of light through a prism. While studying the images of heavenly bodies seen through a telescope, he found that the edges of the images were colored. Jo images ki edges thi, wo colored thi. He allowed sunlight to enter his darkened room through a small hole in a window and placed a prism in a part of the rays as shown. He received the light emerging from the prism on a white screen. He then expected to see a single white image of the sun on the screen. But instead, he saw a band of colors of a rainbow. Starting from the side of the base of the prism, he saw seven colors in the following order. This colored band is called the spectrum and this phenomena of white light splitting into its constituent colors is called as dispersion. In order to show that the prism did not produce the colors, matlab ki prism ne khud colors produce nahi ki hai, but merely separated the colors already existing in the white light of the sun, Newton did a second experiment. He made a small hole in the screen so that the light of just one color could pass through it at a time and then arrange a second prism. When he examined each color in turn emerging from the second prism, he found that there was no further splitting and that the rays of different colors simply bent on passing through the second prism. When a ray of light enters the prism, it bends towards the normal. Light jo hai, wo normal ki taraf bend hogi because light is entering from a rarer medium to a denser medium. Similarly, when the light emerges from the prism, matlab, jab prism se bahar nikalti, it follows the laws of refraction of light. Due to the angle of prism and due to the different wavelengths of different components of the white light, the emergent ray gets segregated into different colors. Finally, a colorful band of seven colors is obtained. This phenomena is called as dispersion of white light by the prism. Any light that gives a spectrum similar to that of a sunlight is often referred to as a white light. A rainbow is a natural spectrum appearing in the sky after a rain shower. Raindrops work like a prism. Chote chote raindrops hote, wo prism ki act karte hai. When a white light enters a raindrop, jab white light ek raindrop ke andar ghusegi, it experiences the refraction and total internal refraction inside the raindrop. The emergent light experiences dispersion of light. As a result, rainbow is formed against the backdrop of sky. Now, let's come to the next important topic that is atmospheric refraction. You might have observed that the apparent random wavering or flickering of objects seen through a turbulent stream of hot air rising above a fire or the radiator. The air just above the fire becomes hotter than the air further up. The hotter air is lighter, less than, than the cooler air above it and has a refractive index slightly less than that of the cooler air. Since the physical conditions of the refractive medium that is air are not stationary, the apparent position of the object as seen through the hot air fluctuates. This wavering is thus an effect of atmospheric refraction on a small scale in a local environment. The twinkling of stars is a similar phenomena on a much larger scale. Aap sab ne twinkling stars raat mein dekhe honge, wo kaise flicker karte hain. The starlight on entering the Earth's atmosphere undergoes refraction continuously before it reaches the Earth. The atmospheric refraction occurs in a medium of gradually changing refractive index. Since the atmosphere bends starlight towards the normal, the apparent position of the star is slightly different from its actual position. The stars appears slightly higher that is above than its actual position when viewed near the horizon. Further, this apparent position of the star is not stationary but keeps on changing slightly since the physical conditions of the Earth's atmosphere are not stationary. Since the stars are very distant, stars bohot dood hote hai, they approximate point side source of light. As the path of rays of light coming from the stars goes on varying slightly, 
the apparent position of the star fluctuates and the amount of starlight entering the eye flickers that is the star sometimes appears brighter and at some other time fainter which gives the twinkling effect now very important question is why don't the planets twinkle jo planets hote hain wo kyun nahi twinkle karte hain the planets are much closer to the earth and are thus seen as extended sources if we consider a planet as a collection of large number of point size sources of light the total variation in the amount of light entering an eye from all the individual point size sources will average out to zero therefore nullifying the twinkling effect now you must have observed advanced sunrise and delayed sunset the sun is visible to us about 2 minutes before the actual sunrise and about 2 minutes after the actual sunset because of atmospheric refraction by actual sunrise we mean the actual crossing of the horizon by the sun the time difference between the actual sunset and the apparent sunset is about 2 minutes the apparent flattening of the sun's disk at sunrise and sunset is also due to the same phenomena so students to conclude this lesson we learned about refraction through prism how rainbows are formed and atmospheric refraction i hope you enjoyed learning this lesson and if you have any more doubts you can go to the following link